All right, guys, thanks for joining me today's video. Today we're going to talk about five upgrades that you need to make if you've got one of these uh, inexpensive or cheap, as some people call them, uh, Chinese-made 3040 CNCs. Uh, so these actually, yeah, when you compare them to some of the big um, other hobbyist models, uh, these are kind of limited, but they're also about a fourth of the cost. This is around um, 500 bucks. Those other ones, uh, the last time I checked, they were about $2,000 for one that's about the same size. Some of those other nicer, nicer uh, CNC's, hobbyist CNC's. Now this one, um, now that I've upgraded the motor on it, we'll get into that in just a second, but this one uh, works a lot better. But anyway, so down to the five must have, in my opinion, upgrades for one of these 3040 CNC's. So number one is the motor, just like I mentioned a minute ago. I went from this pretty weak 500 watt spindle to an 11 amp, two horsepower rigid router motor. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more um, about the differences from a spindle to a router motor in another video that I'm working on. Um, but this, this is about six times as powerful as this, if I did my math right. It might be eight times as powerful, but it's way, way more powerful. So with this motor, um, I was only able to run the CNC at about a quarter of its full potential as far as it goes for speed. Uh, so this motor was pretty weak. I can actually run it at absolute full speed um, with this motor. But, uh, and this motor actually has more power to go. This, it doesn't put hardly any strain on this motor at all. It just keeps on chugging. So in my opinion, of course, the reason I had to upgrade from this motor to this motor is this motor burned up. It, it pretty much wasn't working. Uh, it would turn on and it would uh, work for just a second and then it would freeze up. So a lot of projects wasted and stuff because of this stupid thing. Uh, and it's pretty much been that way since I got the machine. Um, I did go on some forums and stuff and they said that it might be a grounding issue or something, but I think it's just a bad faulty motor. So that's kind of the chance you take with a cheap CNC like this one from China. But that's number one. Motor upgrade I think is super duper important because even when this thing did work right it still wasn't very powerful. You know, uh, this motor um, to route out uh, some of the more complex things that I do, uh, this one takes around 15 minutes and this was taking an hour and five minutes for those same projects. So this is much, much faster. Uh, number two is going to be clamps. As you can see here, this is the cheap clamp that the machine comes with. Let me zoom in. This is the, ch the cheap metal clamp that the machine comes with. These are a pretty bad idea. If this blade comes into contact with this clamp, this blade is toast. It's over and done with. It's either going to snap completely off or it's going to grind it down and make it, it dull it to the point where it can't be used anymore. Uh, a wooden clamp like I have back over here. Good thing the machine's not running. A uh, wooden clamp like I have back over there. Uh, if the bit comes in contact with it, it's just going to grind off the clamp, right? Not a big deal. Um, if you've got a clamp down right, if you've got the board clamp down right uh, with multiple clamps and clamp down with enough pressure and there's enough surface contact, it won't matter if it hits that wood a little bit and takes off a little bit of it, no big deal. And plus you can just make a new wooden clamp, right? That's what the CNC is for. Um, you can turn them out pretty quick. I'm going to make some new ones. Uh, I actually made those by hand because I thought, it well, it would have been quicker because I still had this motor on the machine when I made those clamps. Um, and if you're saying, well, it's got a metal bolt on it, but if your bit is going anywhere near this while you're working on something, you have done something wrong in your tool paths. Um, it should never be that far off the workpiece. Uh, it should always be within a certain area. So... 
uh, not a big deal to have wooden clamps with a metal bolt. It is safer to have a different bolting system. Um, but like I said, uh, if it's just the motor is wandering around, um, changing tool paths and stuff, then you might want to consider um, changing the way you do things or look at your projects in a different way. Uh, third thing is the table. Um, mine actually has a hole in it. You can't see it. Uh, because I did not, I wasn't careful and I wound up drilling a hole straight through the workpiece into the table. So you want to upgrade at least to a spoil board. I'm upgrading to a whole new table. This thing's out of there. Uh, that's one of the upgrades I'm going to be making here pretty soon. Uh, I'm also going to take you down this whole upgrade path. The motor, new clamps, new work table. Um, and the clamps and the work table can actually tie in together. If you do it right, you can have not necessarily built-in uh, clamps, but clamps that are kind of pre-set up, I guess you could say. Um, so there's some different options there. But think about your clamps and your table together as one thing uh, and you'll you'll get some uh, interesting ideas and you can take a look at some of the stuff that uh, other people have done uh, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of integrate both those things together the clamps and the table are going to be one cohesive piece so they're gonna work together and not work against each other these straight tracks are great um, they do offer a lot of flexibility but I think I can do something better uh, to make changing work pieces and stuff and changing clamp positions and everything faster with some better clamps. All right, so uh, on to number four, which is dust collection. You can't see the dust that's all around the table and stuff, um, but this thing doesn't get a whole lot of dust on the, the work table itself. This motor blows it all over the place. This motor does not. This motor does not blow the dust out. It's sealed at the bottom. This motor has a fan at the bottom that blows hot air out and pushes all the dust in different directions. So it goes everywhere. So I really do need to get dust collection for this. Uh, and I'm going to use the CNC to make the dust collection. And I'm actually going to integrate the There you can see some of the dust. I'm actually going to integrate the I'm going to integrate the dust collection into the uh, motor mount. So the way it mounts onto the uh, CNC itself, it's actually going to be integrated into that. Um, this is going to be much more robust. I'm going to change some things with it, but I'm going to integrate dust collection into this. All right, last but not least, very important thing also that you need to consider if you're running one of these, if you're using one of these uh, 3040 CNCs from China, is upgrading your software. I use Vetrix software. Uh, it, in my opinion, you're going to have to pay for the software that you use with one of these. Um, that's just how it works. I've used some of the other f free software. Um, a lot of it's really hard to use with these Mach 3 based machines. I don't know if it's going to work better for something else, but for me, none of that stuff, none of the free stuff worked at all. When I got uh, Vetrix Cut 2D, uh, it was a game changer. I was actually able to do a lot more with my CNC and get a lot more accomplished with it. So those are the five, in my opinion, must-have upgrades for a 3040 China CNC or similar. Um, even the next size up uh, could probably benefit from a bigger motor, better table, better clamps, dust collection, uh, and better software. Uh, any CNC is going to better... Uh, cheap CNC anyways, because the more you pay for a CNC, the better ones, they're going to have all that integrated into it, and it's just going to work. A lot of the more expensive CNC's, um, they don't come with a bigger router motor. Uh, you have to purchase it separately, but they're designed for use with a larger motor like this. Um, so, five must-haves, in my opinion, a new motor, clamps, and table, 
Dust collection is something that's very crucial. Like I said, dust goes everywhere. You might want to consider getting better software for using your CNC. All right, thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you next time.